Can you believe it? It starts to heal. 
There is an energy and a power that's working within you right here and right now. There is consciousness flowing through your mind right here and right now. What are you thinking about? What are you giving power to? Affirm that every organ, every cell, every muscle is in perfect condition and you speak it until you believe it and when you believe it, your body will receive the message. See, this is matter. There's a consciousness that operates. I could not move my fingers or my hands unless my consciousness is speaking to my body. So you speak to your body. Whatever the doctor said, you can respect it. You don't have to accept it. Speak your word over your body. Every thought, everything unfolds in its own way. All things sustain itself by nature, naturally. See, duality only exists because we believe in it. Disease exists. Lack exists. Confusion exists because we believe in it. If we're thinking it and we see it, it has to come forth. So now, today, we got to have a greater expectation for our life, for our neighbors, for our communities, for our world. If we expect it and speak it, it has to come forward. Yes. Dr. Richard Lewis says no matter where we are, we are always will find ourselves in the divine presence of God. No matter where we turn, we will always meet this divine presence in and all around us, but we must recognize it. We must unify with it. We must realize that all things are possible through God. And then we gotta be grateful, an attitude of gratitude constantly. Wherever you are in your life and your experience right now, be grateful for it because it came so that you can move to a new place in consciousness. Yes. 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 Our issues and our challenges come to teach us. Yes. So we don't have to marinate in it. We don't have to wallow in it. We gotta stand up with greater expectation and rise over it. Yes. It is written that as we turn to the divine power, which is the creative mind of God, it always knows what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Richard Lou says, draw a circle, which is your imagination around yourself. Surround yourself in it, for this is our belief. It dictates how we look at life. So we each have the opportunity to imagine an even bigger circle. So wherever you find yourself, greater expectations will take you further. But if you just sit and do nothing with this powerful tool that God has given us, you can stay right where you are, doing the same old thing, the same old way, getting the same results. We have to move from where we are to where we want to be. And the first step is in consciousness. Expansion is the order for our lives. Expand and fill the circles of your life. We are on a great spiritual adventure. So keep moving forward in great expectations. Mm -hmm. The master teacher and teachers approach life with enthusiasm, knowing all life must be approached in terms of infinite possibilities and newness. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. There is nothing that God can't do, but God needs us to do it through. Yes. Dr. Richard says, we may never be great in the way of the world, but we can either leave frustration behind and come into the consciousness of achievement with joy, love, and peace. Greater expectations is always in the mind of the believer. George Washington Carver saw a peanut and brought forth over a hundred products from that one peanut. That is the mind of God operating through whoever will allow the wisdom of God to flow through their consciousness. If we love anything strong enough and long enough, it will whisper its secrets to you. I thought about David and Goliath, this little scrawny shepherd boy to be the giant. But what it really is saying, David represents divine love. Goliath represents ego. The Philistines is error thinking. The Israelites, spiritual thoughts. 
So nobody thought that this little scrawny boy can beat this giant. Nobody thinks that people can get through cancer. Nobody thinks that people can get through diabetes. People think that they can't get the resources that they need. We look at where we are. We get a social security check or we work at a job. That's not our source. Our source is God. God works through the job to sustain. Dr. Ronnie talked about what are we coming here for? We gotta come here just like we pick up something and put it in our pockets or our purse. We gotta put something in consciousness. Yes. Sharpen our tool so that it works for us and not against us. Yes. Talk to your needs. Mm -hmm. Speak it. As Beverly Practitioner Beverly told us, speak your word. We don't have to hope for nothing. Mm -hmm. We can affirm all things. So until the love of David dissipates the ego of Goliath, we continue to swirl in trauma, drama, disappointment, and disease. So that story is telling us to speak to our issues. Those five stones represent our five senses. Speak to what you need. You don't have to call 20 people and tell them your sad story. You got to sit with yourself. You got 24 hours in a day. How much time do you spend speaking your word and affirming your good and allowing your consciousness to rise up to greater expectations? Most of us only sleep about five or six hours in that. So look at all the other time you got. And what are you doing with the rest of your hours? Speak your word. So to hit Goliath's arrow in the forehead is to let the challenges, the situations, the diseases know that they have no power over you. For love and greater expectation conquers all. I read where a woman whose fingers were dislocated by rheumatoid arthritis but she affirmed restoration. She shut herself up in a room for seven days, which is spiritual completion, mm -hmm. fasting and praying. And at the end of those seven days, she was moved by the Holy Spirit, recognizing her fingers were God's fingers. One by one, they snapped back into place, revealing a greater expectation, a belief, a trust, and faith. And I told the 9 a.m., about 26 years ago, I was crippled with rheumatoid arthritis from the Crohn's disease. I couldn't straighten out my arms. I could not walk. My husband had to put me in the tub. My daughter was two, and I had to crawl while Paul was at work. I had to crawl to the kitchen, crawl to change her. I couldn't stand up. But my word and this teaching yeah. This stuff works yes. when we work. Yes, it does. Yes. We gotta move our bloated nothingness ourselves yes. out of the way and let the word of God yes. speak to you, yes. through you. Yes. Mm -hmm. On your behalf. Yes, right. We cannot take the plank out of our brother's eye when we got one in our own. Yes, right. We must be a light yes. and guide by our light. Yes, we don't have to say a word, just be. Just be. Great expectations is to trust in spirit to make all things new. Your cells are renewed every hour of every day. Your organs, God can do anything. Yeah. The energy of God, the vibration of a high thinker, yes. feeds your body yes. and the body of your fears. Yes. See, when you can talk to yourself until you absolutely believe that your word had just as much power 
as God's word when God said, let there be. If we can believe that, we can change our circumstances. We can unite our families. We can infuse divine right action to our children. And we can shift the world in which we live and which God entrusted each of us to take good care. The world that we see is on our watch. But guess what? We have the power and the tools to shift it, to change it. Yes. Look at our lives and our possessions with new appreciation. To give thanks for all the good God has provided. To know no matter what I have or what condition it is in, bless it and call it good. Yes. Bless your life. Yes. Call forth newness yes. to keep feeding where you are. To keep marinating in your hurt, your anger, your disappointment only feeds it more. That's right. It only brings it more. That's right. So to look at a condition, to look at a circumstance, to look at yourself yes. and call forth the power of God yes. Yes. to renew, to revitalize, to heal, to transform, to lift up is utilizing the power that God gave you. Yes. Choice and dominion. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you choosing every day? Mm -hmm. Know that that energy that raises the sun, that holds the moon, that sets the stars, that opens a seed, is operating in you. Mm -hmm. And all it needs is your consciousness to direct it to what to do. Not to deny when you're in pain or when you got a diagnosis, but speak to it. Right. Tell it what to do. It doesn't have more power than we. God made us in His image and likeness. But you got to believe that we can do it. And we can do it because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Let us today see with new eyes. For the power that's in me, God places powers within us. It activates and demonstrates God's promise and God's word for its children. In 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, it says, God has revealed to us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything. When we go back to the original, Everything comes from spirit. Yes. Now, how we use it is a different story. But the originator is spirit. And God always wants us to unite with it so it can perform through us. Yes. So all of your tests was only for you to have a testimony. If I hadn't had Crohn's disease that riddled my body, they told me I would not make it for 30 years. And then to have that arthritis, but to speak to those challenges and to be able to stand here and testify, had it not come, I would not be who I am today. Amen. You are who you are for everything that you Grown through. Because yes. you've grown, we're still standing. Yes. We're still breathing. Yes. We still have another opportunity to prove yes. God. Yes. We pray. For prayer does something to the mind, to the soul, and to the circumstance. We meditate, for it stills our consciousness. We affirm, for it declares our understanding, awareness, and knowing. That requires our faith. And our faith looks to the unseen to fulfill the needs, desire, yes. and the dream. Faith is a tool of continued growth. Yes. God desires our good, but the good has to be accepted through mind. Yes. Great expectations is uncovering the sparks in the cinders, recognizing our God in the midst. So to affirm that I am rooted in pure spirit, to affirm that my mind is cleansed 
the heal of any and all insecurities and inadequacies and fears. I am one with spirit. I am drawing closer and closer each day to the presence, the power, through my thoughts, my words, my feelings, and my actions. God is everywhere present, in and around everything and everybody. So I believe a divine presence is leading me, guiding me, and that divine power is operating for my good. Greater expectations. See, God has loosed me from fear, doubt, and uncertainty. The stone has been rolled away, and I am free and whole. I affirm for my loved ones that God's essence is flowing through all of you right now. God is your strength, your power, and your vitality. I have a divine companion with infinite intelligence and power that cooperates with me. There is a power greater than me that I can use. My whole being accepts this both consciously and subconsciously. So I open myself to a greater good, knowing that it is done to me as I believe. How do you change your belief? By affirming over and over and over again, just as you learn a poem, just as you learn a song. Affirm over and over every single day. You can do it audibly or in silence. As you're driving, you can talk to the Spirit of God within you. Thanking God that my life is a testament to your power, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, that I am healed today. And healing may not look like what you think. <laughs> not your will, but God's will. Because there's people around here that have no arms and no legs, and they're painting pictures with, with a paintbrush in their mouth, and they're happy because they don't see that they're gone. They know what they can do. So we need to focus on what we have and not what we don't, because we see it. When we're grateful, when we have an attitude of gratitude for where we are and what we have, that will move us to where we want to go. Yes. Yes. So to affirm, as Walter Stark, the Lord's prayer in this way, metaphysically, my creative source, which is all-knowing spiritual reality, holy be thy recognition. Let this awareness of myself be experienced at the personal level. As it is when I am aware that all is God. Provide for my wholeness each day the vision of who I am. I'm a daughter of the Most High God. Release my consciousness when it has not been able to see that I am one with God. As I release others who have been un unable to know who they are. Lead us not into temptation of accepting an identity apart from our divinity. And deliver us from contradiction and dishonesty. For thy kingdom of love, the power of love, and the glory of the love is the I am of all beings. We have the power to change our circumstances. We have the power to change our mind. We have the power to erase the habitual rules yes. that we've been living and doing and speaking yes. all of our lives. Get your groove on in this thing that we call life. But do it as the child of God, yes. a daughter and a son. Demonstrate the power of God. God is our eyes, our ears, our arms. God is us. God calls itself by each of our names. So have a greater expectation for yourself. A greater expectation for your brothers and sisters here in the world. A greater expectation for your government. We talk about Trump, but do we pray for Trump? We keep feeding what's already. How about speaking the new word? How about speaking God into the government? It's absolutely possible. One by one, we can change the world in which we live. One by one, we need to have greater expectations. Today is the day, if not now, when. This is the moment. Greater expectations. 
your life will demonstrate your mental equivalence. Yes. Amen? Amen? And so did it. Amen.